Hi, I'm Sebastian from Figma Courses and in this video I'm going to show you the brand new scroll to feature in Figma. If you like this video, please subscribe. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to add a vertical scroll to our prototype like this. But we're also going to add a horizontal one. We're going to make a nice carousel with these cards. And then you can scroll with these arrows between these cards. So yeah, this is really cool and powerful stuff from Figma. So let's get to it. First, we're going to select the coursers item. We're going to go to prototype and we're just going to drag it over to this frame. So it automatically added scroll to animation. Let's add animate, make it 600 milliseconds, maybe ease in and out. And also important here is we're going to add an offset to the Y axis. So we're going to do minus 120 and I'll just show you in a bit why we're doing this. And then for about, we can also add an interaction. We can drag it or we can go to the right top here to interactions. We can click this plus icon and then we can first select on click. The next one is scroll to and then here we can select our frames. So we're going to go for USPs. We're also going to add animate. And for this one, we're going to do 800 milliseconds. And we're also going to add a Y offset of minus 80 like that. Let's say we want to go back to the top when you click the logo. Well, then we select the logo. We drag it over here. It automatically selected scroll to prototyping function. It's on animate, ease out, and let's say we use 600 milliseconds. We don't need an offset here because we want to go back all the way to the top. So if we go over to prototyping, to the presenting view, if we click here on courses, we will see that we will scroll to this one. If we click on about, we will scroll to this one. For courses, I added a Y offset of minus 120. So we have a nice padding over here. For about, I set minus 80 because I directly want to start at this point. And for the logo, I didn't add an offset, so we go back all the way to the top. So this is quite easy. Like you can see, courses about Figma courses, courses about and Figma courses. So now you can really give life to your prototype and it's starting to look like a real website. All right, so now we're going to have a look at the horizontal scroll. So I made a carousel here, I added some arrows for navigation and then some cards here. So I have my first two cards over here, but I also added the third and the fourth card over here outside of the frame. This is how we should do it. Everything should be in one main frame called courses and the frame should go from this end to this end. It's really important that you do this, that you cover the whole length of the frame. So you also have to enable clip content, that's important. And if you click prototype, you go to overflow behavior and we also have to select horizontal scrolling. This is our way to say to Figma like, hey, I'm gonna do a horizontal scroll here. Now we're gonna select this arrow and then we're gonna drag it all the way to the second course card. Let's see, like this, all right. And then we got animate, ease out, that's good. Maybe make it a bit faster, 300 milliseconds and just use ease out. All right, that's very good. Well, let's take a look and see what that does. So if you click on this one, you see, all right, we're scrolling, but we can't scroll back and something is off with this padding and this spacing. So let's go back. So if you want to scroll back to the first one, we just have to select the left arrow and then we're going to this one, let's see, ease out, yes, all right. Let's have a look again if we click. All right, now we're back, but you see that the course card is over here, so that's also not good. So we're gonna have to add an offset to this one. So if we select this prototyping line, we're gonna add an offset on the X axis, and we're gonna go for minus 290, something like that. Okay, let's go back into prototyping. If we click, look at that. So if we click here, you still see that we have some problems here. If we go back, this is nice. This is placing really good. But if we go here, we have this problem. So uh, apparently Figma isn't allowing the offset function over here, but I found something else to fix it. So if we go over here in these invisible cards, 
we're gonna hold option to the last one and then we're gonna duplicate this one and we're gonna put it right next to it. We're gonna give it a width for something like 180 and we're gonna make it invisible. So if I go back to our prototyping now and if I click this, you'll see it's working out quite fine. So I added an invisible frame here to make the scrolling quite nice. So there you have it, you have a nice horizontal carousel view and it's not that difficult actually, it's quite easy with the new scroll to function of Figma.